What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Firm. Today's review is going to be on a pair of shoes that I did get a few weeks back. Um, however, I'm finally just getting around to being able to do a review on it. The shoe that I'm going to be talking about is the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. I'm not going to get too in depth into the shoe because there's already a ton of reviews out there. I um, just kind of want to share my opinion on this shoe and let you guys know what I think about it. So this shoe did release last year um, in very limited quantities. Um, I think it released on the Yeezy Supply. And that was it um, and then they did release again in March I want to say it was and they decided to do another restock a few weeks back on September 15th um, I'm not sure how many pairs they released of these um, but they really weren't that hard to get I was on the Adidas site for about a half hour in the queue line and then I was able to get through and pick up my size hopefully everybody that was out there trying to get a pair was able to get a pair um, so it is a really nice shoe, but I think for the price tag of $300, um, I, I would expect a lot more, honestly. Um, if you're dishing out that much cash for some shoes, um, I don't know. I just don't think these are worth $300 in my opinion, but that's just me. I know they're releasing another colorway at the end of this month. I'm looking forward to seeing what those look like in person, um, whether I buy them or not. Um, I don't know. We'll see when the shoe releases. So here's a quick look at the box. Standard Easy Box 700. Boost there. Tag in there. Size 10 and a half. Now here's a look at the shoe. Um, so starting off with the bottom, you got your black and white bottom here. Um, with your visible boost through some of these pods. Move on to the midsole, you got this like cream colored off-white midsole, um, that chunky dad shoe midsole. And these are really comfortable by the way, um, definitely some good cushioning boost obviously. Um, you got your hits of orange here and here with some hits of black going along, and you got some hits of black here. Moving on to the upper, you got your hits of like Nubuck on here in black, going all around. And you got this like gray Nubuck here on the heel. Um, and these little dots here inside is actually 3M. So when the light hits it, you'll see the flash. Then you got this slate blue mesh here. Um, and then a lighter blue mesh here like a dark teal and then you got this nice new book here on the front toe box in gray um, so definitely just a different assortment of colors which i think is pretty cool here's a look at the medial side and you got your tags here your barcode sizing information and then your branding tag in here. Moving on up, this little tab here where the shoelace starts is 3M, um, as well as this other lace hole here. Then you got these like light yellow laces. Um, they actually kind of look like the laces that are on the frozen yellow Easy 350 V2s, if you have those. Um, it's similar to that. Gray mesh tongue, gray insole with the Adidas logo. And I forgot to mention these two pods here are actually 3M. And right here in the center, you don't see it now, but when the light hits, you see the reflective 3, uh, 3M Adidas stripes, which is really nice. So that's kind of it for this shoe, guys. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick review on it. Um, I personally think it's a nice shoe. Definitely not worth the $300 price tag in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys personally think that they're worth 300 bucks? One more thing I forgot to mention is that this little tab here is like a nice soft leather, real premium leather. Really nice. So yeah, that's all I really have for this shoe guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this shoe. I personally think it's really nice but I don't think it's worth the $300 price tag. 
Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Is it worth the $300 or not? Um, I will be doing more reviews. I just got a few more pairs in, so I'll be doing some videos on those soon. Um, yeah, other than that guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.